So I just did a hive inspection. Everything looks great. We're at week five and a half right now. I haven't been in the hive for probably about 10 days, so it was really great to go in there and see everything going. Today is May 16th, and we've had a whole ton of rain. And so today is actually the first beautiful, clear, sunny day we've had in probably about a week. So today is a perfect day to put up some swarm trap. The way the swarm trap works is you create a little box or space. You bait it with a little bit of comb and some lemongrass oil, which the bees like. And so a very mature colony that's ready to split, well, half of the colony will leave along with the old queen and find a new home. So we're hoping that she finds the new home in my swarm trap. If we catch bees, then we can start another hive. So that's the idea. I'm gonna build a couple traps and we'll see how we do. These two we're gonna to combine together to make one. And this one we're just gonna do one. It's pretty big. It doesn't say how many gallons it is. It's a number seven S. There are four holes. We're gonna tape up all of them except one, which will be the entrance. Okay, right here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Now we're gonna put some tape to reinforce it on the inside. We're gonna leave one open for the entrance and the rest we're gonna tape up. So we we'll also wanna put some tape on the inside to cover up the tape so the bees don't get stuck in the tape. I had to scrape off this burr comb when I was doing my inspection earlier today and I'm gonna use these as part of my lure. I'm just gonna squish them onto some wood pieces here. All right, so now that I have my comb attached to these little pieces of wood, it's not much, but it's something, I'm gonna place this inside of my trap like that to encourage the bees to come inside. All right, this will give you a better idea of what I just did. Just wired it in like that. wired up like that. Some lemongrass oil. I'm going to take a q-tip dab about five drops of that onto there. Q-tip in a plastic bag. doesn't need to be sealed up but that will help it from evaporating too quickly. Place the q-tip in there. Now we'll slow this thing up and I'm going to zip tie it together. This plastic is soft enough where I can just use scissors to make a hole. So now we're just wiring this up. There's the entrance. And we'll just hang that up from a tree about six feet up, ten feet up. Let's see if we catch anything. Here's the big one. Q-tip and the comb. 